Okay, you have not downloaded HFX swipe. You don't have it yet on your phone, all right? Put in no on the chat. So start by how you download it. Put in no on the chat if you have not. No, no, you don't have HFX swipe app on your phone. So first step, First step is to what? All right, so I need everyone quickly. So, okay, we only have someone here who doesn't, okay, only Mr. Chibwezi Joe Martin that doesn't have HFXY. All right, so the first thing you want to do is what? You go to what? The HFX, uh, your, your app store, all right? I think this is really going to be good if I connect my phone. All right. So that's the first thing you want to do, HFX swipe. Hold on. Only for a minor post. Okay. Sorry, I want to. Okay, I'm going to share from my phone. I should be sharing now. I won't change. It's very easy. They're just very easy step. Okay, good. If you go to your Play Store, uh, I believe the Apple Store right now, it should be clearly on. Is, is it now available on the App Store? It, I believe it's available on the App Store. Put in yes, it's now available on Play Store. Play Store. It came first on Apple. If it's now available on Play Store, it's now available on Play Store. Good. So you go to your App Store, your, your App Store or your Play Store, okay, and you download it. You type HFX swipe, All right? So this training, it's, I'm doing it like you are gonna use it for new members of that. So you type HFX swipe, HFX swipe. So it's already there, all right? Just click it, then you download, all right? If you download, so I've downloaded it, so you click open, so if you have it. So the first thing is gonna require all right, it's gonna require you, it's gonna require you to what? Put in your username, your I am username. So you put in your username. <laughs> Same username, if you're not valid, if you're not active, you can't use it. And it's, it's a, it has, we're still on the one month free, uh, free test run. So everybody have access. Oh, sorry, excuse me. All right. So when you log in, guess what? 
All right, you see, so this is one of the things you want to pay attention to. You see this arrow on the right. So we have on, we have HFXY, then we have that rolling arrow, All right? Sometimes when you log in, you log off. What is going to show there, you come back, is what you are on. If a new trade is sent, but you don't know a new trade that has been sent, just click on that refresh, All right? It refreshes and gives you the new trade. So this is a new trade idea, all right? This was sent around 7.30.04. That's around 7.30. And another good thing is the same email you are using, all right? The same email you are using on your phone. Whenever the trade is called, all right? You're gonna get what? HFX swipe. So you can see the same email, the, the trade keep, they sent EuroJP around 8.37, all right? A trade came at 837. GBPA UD came at 8. So you get email notification as well. Does that make sense? All right. So this trade was called, it was uh how you know the idea, you click on the good. All right, this good button. So this this gives you it was sent by Jonathan Nunes. It was a put. All right, other type, it was a put. So it means it was a sell. So what do you do? All right. It's all this trade is already gone. So you're not supposed to use, you're supposed to use the trade, all right? The time it comes, the, the, the period, there's a period of using this app, the, the trade. Whenever it has hit, all right, there's always an update that is, is, is on, all right? There's, a, there's always an update. You, there, there's a chat in, in, in HFX in the, in the app that tells you when, all right? How do you know that chat? So before I even come to taking the trade, so right now there's an update that they always send, okay? You click on chat, HFS chat room, HFS updates and results. So you can see around 739, Euro GBP gave us a better entry and clear, all right? So you see, it's been updated. So you're not the one who's taking the trade, all right? Are you guys seeing it? So these are trades that have been called, say GBP AUD loss, that's the trade total. On the week, 3 1, Daniel Lopez. All right. GBP, JPY, discard, cancel. They let you know. So before you take a trade, always make sure you come on the chat. All right. To know what's the update. So they might send the trade, they might not reach. They will tell you cancel, discard. This is where you know. Does that make sense? I need everybody to put in sense on the chat. All right. So don't just jump in in a trade. Ah, you saw the email. Maybe your network was bad. All of a sudden, you open your network and Email came, HFX, right? So you thought that trade was that time. You need to go check the time, all right? There's a chat room, it's the same thing. So these are the trade ideas that are called for, educator, for education purpose. Okay, good. So you see, look, looking for a set around here. So what it means is, this is what I, I really want to show you guys now, I'll show you, okay? This is still a chat room that they give you updates on the trades that are going on. All right, but let me go back on the trade. Hope I'm. All right. So the fourth icon is the chart. The first is home. All right. Second, you want to search results. So you can see so far. All right. These are these are trade trades that have been sent. All right. I think it's supposed to show the results. These are trades that have been sent so far. Okay. Uh, so that's for search. You want to search. Then this is uh, videos. Okay, I think in in here you you have videos category. Hold on. I think this is not yet uh, updated. There's there are videos that they're going to put. You start using the app. There are videos that are, they are going to put there that you you know how how to use the app and the rest. All right. Are we following? Putting following on chat. Hope I'm not leaving anyone behind. Okay. And the, so the trade idea, how do you, so another trade, did you just get in, refresh? Okay, so you always, so you see now, I, I was seeing GBPA UD, I didn't put it there, so I had to refresh, all right? So this, this is the trade idea, this is how you trade the swipe. Whenever the entry is called, entry is 84943, all right? 84 Nine four three. How many of you 
have trading view on your phone. All right. The currency is Euro GBP 84943. What I do is the first thing download. So the next step is what? So All right, so that's the next step. Okay, so how many of you don't have? What you want to do right now is, all right, go on your phone, same way you downloaded the app. All right, go to your app store, type trading view. That's trading view, trading view stock. So this is the one you download, all right? Okay, this is the one you download. So I've downloaded it, so I open. And now if you're using trading view, you need to log in on the web. When you log in on the web, all right? And you log in in your phone, it's the same thing that we show. So every trade that is showing in my phone, all right? Is the same thing that I have on my web. Does that make sense? It's the same thing that I have. So all the currencies that are here are the currencies that are on the web. I can show you, all right? USDJPY, the same way, okay? If I click on USDJPY, it's the same thing that I have on my web that is here on my phone. So it's sync as long as you log in, but if you don't log in, nothing, all right? So you know the last thing we were on was USD card. That is why it's showing USD card here, okay? Oh my goodness, this is a good thing. All right, so how do you use the app? So the trade was called HFX swipe Euro GBP entry price was 84943. HFX trading view gives you an opportunity to put one trade on a lamp. All right. So 84943 is the entry on Euro GBP and I want to say, so what I do is I go to watch list. So you can see under my screen, we have the currency, we have the watch list, we have chat, we have ideas, we have chats profile, all right? So I'll click on the watch list. I go to Euro GBP, it's the last one. So this is Euro GBP, all right? So this is Euro GBP. So what's the entry? It's a cell, 84943, all right? So I'd have to look for 84943. The trade has already, uh, so where is this guy? It's for, uh, how do I normally, okay, the tools that I use. Okay, where is your? No, I don't want to use this one. So horizontal line, I'll be looking for 84943. Hmm, it's down. So, but I just want to show you 84943. So this is 84940. So, okay, okay, good. You don't put the price at where exactly the price is if you want to set an alarm, all right? So the price is 84943. 
But if you have to set an alarm, you set an alarm in 8 4. Oh, my goodness. Why would someone call this time? All right. Um, okay, good. Are we together? So when you want to send a, set an alarm, you said, ah. Yeah. Eight for 9.43. If I want to set an alarm, maybe I'm busy. I want to set an alarm close to. So I might think eight for 9.38. Eight for 9.38, good. So I put the price in eight for 938. All right. You know, this trade is already gone. So we're doing as if this is what you just do when the trade is called. So it means price was under us at the time they called the trade. So eight for 938 is where I put it. So if I want to set an alarm, I can actually set an alarm on price. All right. I'd remove, hold on. Uh, okay, good. Uh, sorry, I want to. I don't know why I navigated my phone. Chat type object tree. Okay, good. I'm not really set. I'm gonna delete this one. That's not the one. Um, Just a moment, please. Oh, it's not showing, it's showing it. Uh, and this is indicators. So it's supposed to be around here. It was supposed to show me my alarm here. It's not showing it there. What I do, so, okay, good. I'm just gonna do something now. Stop sharing, I'll go to my system. So what you can do on your system, first thing is what? Steps, all right? So I'll go back to the steps on the screen. So I just wanna make it detailed enough. Three, mark the area on trading view and set alarm. Okay, mark the area, hold on. Mark the area of price. Slight, let me use that word, before. Good. On trading view and set alarm, all right? So I'm just gonna go. So you can do it on your system. I, I, you can do it on your system. So if I go to Euro GBP, so this is Euro GBP. All right, so. Sorry. So eight for nine, so you can, here it's even quite easy. You can actually set, so it's supposed to. So alarm will show eight for nine, nine thirty eight. You can actually do this manually, all right? So this eight for nine thirty eight. So price was below, okay? Eight for nine thirty eight, all right, for a sell. So I'm selling. So I've set an alarm, I'm waiting for it, okay? So the moment price hits, 
boom. It would notify me. So I set an, an alarm for this. Look at where price is. So let's say, okay, this was the area of price, 84948. Is it 940? What was the price? Hold on again. 84943. All right. Can you guys see that when the price, I don't know what time, but I believe it was around this time. When price go here, it went down. All right. But that's not really what I want to do. It's not to show you the validation of the trade. So this is the set area. You set it. Whatsoever I set here right now is on my trading view. And I can put an alarm. How do you put an alarm? All right. Click on the line. Sorry. I'm on auto to leave here. Okay, good. Click on the line. So shit. Click on the line. Come to see this plus sign. All right. This plus sign. Good. I just set an alarm. This had to set an alarm. When it's cross, not see when it's crossing. All right. Once is once. All right. It's only once, so you don't have to. It is a one-time trade. No anything. Notify me on app. Notify me. Show pop up. Send email. Okay. Alert name. Euro GBP cell. Okay, Euro GBP crossing. That's the message he's going to tell you. Good. So you set an alarm. All right. Does that make sense? So the alarm is on right now. Does that make sense? The same way we use an alarm in our live trading that notifies you on, uh, on leap trade. You can actually, uh, you can do it on, on uh, you can also do it on uh, IQ options. Okay. You go on IQ option. So let's say you're busy, you're, just, you're still at home, you're busy, your system is on. IQ option, the same way you have it, you can have it or what? On your phone, IQ options are loaded. You set the alarm on Euro GBP, but I prefer trading you since it's one trade at the time they send. It's going to notify me on my phone. It's going to send me an email. Let's say you're on the system, you can use IQ option. If it gets there, it will beep. All right? So I say set the alarm before the trade so that you could be aware and go to your trading, set all your parameters, put the three minutes, put the time. So before it gets there, you, you'd have enough time to do all of those stuff in case you're moving. Does that make sense? Put it, say, I get it, all right? Don't put it immediately at the line because it might hit there and go back before you even log into the app and everything that's gone. So you want to put it before. So if it gets into the 40 areas, that uh, eight for nine forty areas. I'm already prepared, so I can be watching. I can be vigilant for it. So immediately reaches there. I put my three minutes. I put everything. I just click work. Put immediately gets to the line. So I'm aware before time. Does that make sense? All right. You guys, you got you got that. That's the that's the best way. All right. Breaking your network your network you guys got it let me know you got it on the chat put price before so if it's for a put put price before if it's for a uh, uh put price below if it's for a uh, uh call put price above all right so let me put that on the chat For call slash buy put alarm. Above price. For put slash sell. Put alarm below price. Maybe 10 pipettes. So if it's 
Let's say it is 300, put it at 290. All right. Does that make sense? You go this say, I get it. I get it. Put it on the chat. Say, I get it. So this is the step. That's how it is. So, so already you know how to copy and paste. Already you know how to copy and paste. So this is it's not a live session. They give you the price. So this is the responsibility you take to put in the price. So you put the price. So now you have the price. You're waiting for price to get there. It's just the same way we're on the live session. You're waiting for price to get there. But this time around, all right, you have an alarm there that will notify you in case you're busy. Because the problem with most people is... They don't know when it reaches, all right? So you can know when it reaches when you set an alarm. And alarm before price, all right, for a sell, above price for a, for, 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 for a buy. So it notifies you before the price really gets. So you have all the opportunity to rush to your trading view, all right, to your, uh, to your trading account. I want you to rush to your trading account, set all the parameters, put your timing, all right? And guess what? Put your timing, select the currency, put your timing, fixed time, obviously, always play fixed time on those calls. Always play fixed time, all right? They wouldn't even let you know. They would let you know in the parameters, fixed time, okay? Put your price, then just wait. If it gets there, here, so now you no more have to be looking at your alarm. It's already notified you, so you just wait for price to get to the area. You take if it doesn't get to the area, Oga, Madam, brothers, sisters, leave the trade. All right, leave the trade. Wait for the update. But if it gets to that area, you take the trade. As long as they've not updated, as long as they've not discarded the trade, all right. Whenever it gets to that area, you can take it. Does that make sense? All right. Putting sense on the chart if you got that. So as long as they've not discarded the trade. So I told you how you'd know a trade that has been discarded. As long as it needs any email that discard trade. If you mark it, whenever the price gets there, take it. All right. It's still more like the trade we do. Every valid area I give you on the session, whenever price gets there, can you see that it responds? It got there, responded. Got there again, responded. Can you see that? It got there, responded. Got there again, responded. If it gets here, my still valid. So not until I tell you this trade is no more valid, all right? You still stay on the trade. Does that make sense? Put in sense if you got that, all right? So I can actually set this trade on alarm. So if it gets here, I'd know, all right? But I won't set the alarm at this 419. I'll probably set it at what? 409, so that it notifies me before it gets here, so that I had, if I was busy, I can just get my phone, go to my trading view, my, my trading account, set all the parameters, and I'll begin to watch and wait. Does that make sense? Let me know on the chat if that's clear, all right? That's clear. So the last thing I'll say to you guys is, Right? Till you perfectly understand it, create a small account. All right? A small, don't trade this with your main account that you're using to follow us live because you don't yet understand it. You need to learn. Some of you have not done what it is that I just trained you. You need to learn it, practice it. All right? You can start on a demo account or create a small account. So whenever they trade, they've been accurate, doesn't mean you should just jump in. You are not accurate. They are accurate, but you are not yet accurate. You're still learning. Okay, so you might make mistake. You might get frustrated when you think, oh, I've always seen it that's gone, but I didn't know when it get there. So I'm showing you. So you do it, get a small account for it. 
all right and another thing you don't want to do trade your trade your type of trade so i love the three minutes and the five minutes trade if you're not good at one minute trade don't get on the one minute trades there are every educator that is sending trades here they have live session if you're not following them on their live session you can't know how they trade so it's actually for their students who understand how they trade if if Jonathan Nuta, Nunes sent it, I know it's five minutes, so it's more or less like my three minutes. So it's fine. It's five minutes and three minutes, good. But two minutes, one minute, all right? Okay, two minutes I can still take, but one minute I don't. Because why? It's like, it's so quick. You don't yet understand, and you get on that environment because you don't yet understand, you'll be making a whole lot of losses. Does that make sense? Right? So you can trade two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Jonathan Nunes, good. All right, Ivan Cabra, Ivan Cabra, which is a venture, good. All right, but there are some that send one minute. I'm not there and I'm advising you. Stay, stick to what you do. All right, three minutes, five minutes. All right, three minutes, five minutes. Does that make sense? Does anyone have a question as to the app? All right, the use of the app. Does anyone have a question? Why am I feeling so hungry today? Feeling like my they, they, they took everything from my tummy. Mm. Does anyone have a question on the use of the app? I just gave you the steps to using what? The HFXY. All right. Another thing you want to do, I'll show you guys is a video on how to use this. You can actually go through that video on the HFX mob, I've sent, I'll send it in the group. So just follow, there's even a presentation on HFX, the HFX uh, package. Any question? Okay, no question. Ah, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. We have, we have another session. Oh, okay. In the next one hour, we're gonna be having, next few minutes, 4 p.m. Okay, that's all. Is there any way we can get direct alert pop from, HFX swipe. Yes, you already you already got an alert when the trade comes. You won't get a lot when the trade hits because the, it's not a trading platform. It's an alert. You get a trade, you get a lot on your email, all right, and they pop up on HFX swipe on your phone. Put in notification. You go to the notification panel. Okay, good. So let me go on the app. All right. There is a notification panel. Hold on. On the settings, I think there is settings. Okay, good. So let me show you guys now. So if you go, so let me go. If you, on the fifth icon, those dot, dot, dot icon. I'm going back so you see how I got there those dot 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 icon all right on the floor the fifth one by the right that's after the chat you click on it you see something comes up settings and chat click on what settings so this is what you're going to see email notification is on phone notification is on all right so you can actually receive an alert and you can go on your setting on your phone and you, so as long as you have sound notification on your messages you get it does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay, good. All right. So I believe, so that is how you do it, that you can avoid, you can avoid all of the time difference. There's a time difference between when they send the trade and when we receive it, all right? But after you receive it, this is what you do so that you don't get in. All right. So there are times you, you get the trade and it's already done. The trade is already. Don't imagine you are telling me to sell, and the area is actually sell. I go on the chart, I put that area, and price is already above. What do I do? I ignore the trade. All right. Does that make sense? So the best way to know if the trade is still valid is when you go on your chart and check it. Okay. Just look at this right now. Okay. Let's say you didn't know, but you do what I just told you. Let's say you saw Euro GBP on your phone, and you went on Euro GBP. All right, and you're trying to say, okay, let me set an alarm to trade. Look at where you set, look at price above. It's a put, so is this trade valid, yes or no? 
Yes or no? Is this trade still valid? Is a put, which means I'm supposed to sell. All right. And I come here, I put the price. Price already above. It means this trade is no more valid. All right. Good. I believe you guys all got this. All right. Without the presence of a question, the recording, I'm going to, uh, I'm recording on my system. I'm going to convert it, put it on my YouTube. If you're not following me on YouTube, go to More Academy TV. I'm going to put it there, special training. So I appreciate you guys. See you by 12 p.m. with Dr. Rosemary. And also, we're going to be here live by 8 p.m. with our chairman and coach. Walk, build a system that is going to pay you. 2,000 US dollars is good money. 1,000 US dollars is good money. 600 US dollars is good money. And most importantly, you're impacting lives. Look at that lady that shared this opportunity with doctor, right? She didn't know. She just probably obeyed the instructions. She was excited and she shared, look at who doctor has turned today. She's going to be an educator in the system in a couple of weeks, I guess, all right? And also, She's impacted 75 lives. She's earning for herself. This opportunity has made her retire. You want to see every testimony in front of you right now and imagine, all right, if you contributed to it, all right? God bless you all. I love you. Don't forget to tag. We love what it is we've done. Send a message. Tag on Instagram. Tag me. Tag all the educators. Let me go and eat. Bye-bye.